Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Today we have stories from Target, Walgreens, Good Food Holdings, and 7-Eleven. My name is Christopher Durham. Today is Monday, February 12th, 2024. This is our weekly look inside the world of retailer-owned brand news, private brand, if you will, with a healthy dose of insights and opinions. Thanks for watching, and please do not forget to like and subscribe. It's the obligatory YouTube thing, and it helps you stay informed when we release a new video and stay up to date on all the latest private brand news. First story today, Walgreens gummy mango peelable candy takes off on TikTok. TikTok can't seem to get enough of Chicago-based drugstore Walgreens owned brand Nice gummy mango peelable candy. Content creators across the country are snatching up the $1.79 treat to peel, eat, and review for their followers. The result, well, of course, sticky fingers, sugar-fueled smiles, and millions of video impressions. Ellen Idler, Walgreens Associate Category Manager for Candy, said Walgreens sold seven times more gummy mango candy than average last week because of the TikTok spike. Let's take a look at the TikTok. Peelable mango gummies. These I got at Walgreens. I've been seeing these all over social media. Here you can see me peeling, peeling, peeling. Oh, this is so fun. Look at this. Let's try it. Cheers. Mmm. It's very soft gummy. That's really good. Let's try the peel. Who keeps texting me? It's my manager. It's so fun to eat. Peel. I do like the inside more than the outside. It's more juicy, if that makes sense. And then you have the peel, which is a little bit more top, more chewy. Not bad. Idler and her colleague Auburn Suter, the commercialization manager for Walgreens branded candy beverages and perishables, work together to develop the product. Walgreens retailer owned brand Nice Candy has always been more traditional, but to grow the brand, both women believe they had to experiment with innovation. Suter said, We both thought, let's shake things up a bit. Idler says, Gummy candies have seen an uptick in popularity since the pandemic, with national brands bringing tons of new offerings to the space, like Nerds Gummy Clusters. She and Suter gravitated towards some pineapple gummies with a gooey burst of flavor inside and decided to pair it with a gummy mango peelable candy. Idler said, Mango is kind of an obscure candy flavor, which is why we only put the peelable gummies in 2,500 stores. That was our test, and well, we've seen how it's done. But why is this candy getting attention just now? Well, Suter and Idler believe that with the recent refresh of the Nice brand packaging, the orange and yellow bags really pop among the other Nice brand products. It's a great flavor and a great package design. Good job, Walgreens. Story number two, just off the wire, as they say, Target refreshes their up and up brand. So Target owned brands now account for $30 billion in annual sales. It's nothing to sneeze at and are a pillar of the retailer's differentiation strategy. Their brand Up and Up has been an NBE core essential brand since it launched 15 years ago. And now the retailer is making the brand bigger and better with a relaunch. Target has reformulated 40% of its existing products to meet new, higher quality standards and added hundreds of new products like pet items and food storage. The Target team is adding hundreds of products to the already extensive up and up assortment, including moving supplies, oral care, dog grooming, and food storage products for a total of more than 2,000 everyday essential items. They will continue to introduce new up and up items through early 2025. Rick Gomez, EVP and Chief Food Essentials and Beauty Officer for Target, said about the launch, our Up and Up brand is already incredibly popular, generating nearly $3 billion in sales every year. And with this expansion, we're giving even more guests reason to choose Target for their household essentials. Our product teams combed through thousands of guest reviews to create new formulations, hundreds of new products, and thoughtful packaging to make Up and Up even better. 
all while continuing to offer truly unbeatable value. Target team reviewed shopper feedback and ratings and then reformulated about 40% of the brand to meet new and even higher quality standards. A few of the examples they cite, improved toothbrushes, they changed the shape and feel of both the manual and the replaceable head toothbrushes to make brushing teeth a better experience and to help toothbrushes last longer. They also made all of the replaceable head adult and kids toothbrushes interchangeable, fitting into all of the up and up toothbrush handles as well as being interchangeable with Sonicare products. Stronger food storage containers. The up and up food storage containers now feature thicker walls that are more durable and last longer. They created new scents for baby, household cleaning, bath and body, soap and pet products. They created, of course, the new colorful packaging, which makes it easy to identify with large product forward typography. The teams dove deep into research to make the packaging easier to open and more sustainable, like reducing plastic and moving to paper packaging where possible. Some packaging for items like body lotions, baby wash, shampoo, and cleaning sprays was developed in partnership with occupational therapists to make them more comfortable to hold in hand and use. Shoppers will begin to discover the refreshed Up and Up brand on shelves and on Target.com this month, beginning with items like cotton balls, pet grooming, oral care, and baby products. Be on the lookout for more Up and Up products over the next year and in early 2025. Story number three, West Coast Grocer Good Food Holdings has launched its first ever company-wide retailer-owned brand, Private Brand. The brand will be called New Coast Foraging Companies, and it debuted at the end of 2023. Additional products are slated to roll out through 2024. CEO Neil Stern said, The initial products in the launch included empanadas and truffles. The name is inspired by Good Food Holdings' coastal brand and invokes the perception that foragers are scouring the world to find unique and differentiated products. It's going to be basics with a twist, Stern said. We're trying to get some things that you're not going to find on everybody else's shelves. Take the empanadas, for instance. We're not trying to create the most premium product in the world, but we are trying to have something that you may not find everywhere else in the marketplace. If you're not familiar with Good Food Holdings, they operate about 50 super markets in Southern California and the Seattle and Portland, Oregon areas. Under names such as New Seasons Markets, Bristol Farms, Lazy Acres Natural Market, Metropolitan Market, and New Leaf Community Markets. While the banners already have their own premium or local private brands, New Coast has created a brand designed to fill the rest of shoppers' baskets with polished basics or core essentials. With New Coast, Good Food Holdings is looking to keep customers who would have traded out of its stores by giving them a chance to trade down, said Elizabeth Stridham, Vice President of Private Label and Purchasing at the Holding Company. Next up, Macy's introduces State of Day, a new what they call restwear. Never heard the phrase, but we'll go with it. Sleepwear and innerwear brand. Late last week, Macy's announced the launch of State of Day, a new retailer-owned brand. The new brand is an interesting next step in the ongoing reinvention of Macy's brand portfolio. State of Days helps women feel more comfortable and relaxed at home, whether that's sleeping, drinking coffee, chasing kids, or just relaxing. The collection includes light, easy-to-layer pieces and soft pajamas. The customer's voice is at the very center of Macy's private brand reinvention. After surveying over 25,000 women and conducting 60 in-store hours of fit clinics, women were able to share their desired feel, function, and fit. This research showed that women look for pieces that offer a wide range of options and provide the highest level of comfort. Emily Arusha Hillick, not sure if I'm saying your name correctly, Emily. If not, please let me know. But she said, we are excited to unveil State of Day, our latest private brand at Macy's. The new restwear, sleepwear, and innerwear collection is designed to provide comfort, versatility, and style for the modern. The new restwear, sleepwear, and innerwear collection is designed to provide comfort, versatility, and style for the modern woman. She went on to say, State of Day is a testament to our commitment to deliver exceptional quality, style, and value with our in-house brands. We continue to build a relevant design-led modernized portfolio, weaving customer insights with Macy's rich heritage to meet our customers' evolving preferences and styles. Emily, we'd love to have you come down in May for the Velocity Conference and present. You've been doing a lot of great work, and it'd be a great case study. Looking a little further, the collection includes over 165 pieces with prices ranging from $8.50 to $79.50 and inclusive sizes ranging from extra small to 4X for sleepwear. 
The assortment consists of pajama sets and separates, bras and bralettes, underwear, restwear, nightgowns, and sleep shirts. In our final story of the day, 7-Eleven debuts new Valentine's Day sweets and treats for a sugar-coated celebration. Shoppers can satisfy their sweet tooth with 7-Eleven this Valentine's Day and for a limited time enjoy new retailer-owned brand treats, including 7-Eleven dessert sliced cakes. 7-Eleven's new private label cake slices are now available in two delicious flavors, rainbow and marshmallow cookie dough. They also added oatmeal chocolate chunk big cookies, a new baked in store oatmeal chocolate chunk big cookie made with Hershey's milk chocolate mini kisses available for two for three dollars. In addition to that, they added seven select peach heart gummies and seven select chocolate flavored heart pretzels. Nikki Boyers, the VP of private brands at 7-Eleven, said in speaking about the new products, at 7-Eleven, we want to make each day a little bit sweeter for our customers, whether you prefer sweet, salty, or sour. Our stores have something for every love language this Valentine's Day. And of course, we always close out with our 2024 events, kind of tell you what's going on in our world, and invite you to come and be a part of it. We've published our complete event calendar for 2024 and are now looking for retail speakers. If you're an executive at a retailer with a private brand store to tell, we would love to give you the Velocity Stage. We have 10 events slated for this year that are designed to grow every aspect of private brand. So if there's something you want to talk about or something you wish we were talking about, let me know. We would love to have you. Sponsorships and booths are also available for the events. You can build your private brand business and increase your brand awareness with a sponsorship. Packages include everything from an event and online branding, social media, event tickets, sampling, and for those rare few speaking on the Velocity stage to really grow your brand. The first event actually is next week, February 21st. If you're not registered, rush out right now. We've got a great lineup that will be talking about private brand and AI at this summit. This free online summit will explore AI and its potential uses and pitfalls for private brands and retail. Presentations will include AI trailblazers, apologists, analysts, and thought leaders. In the Private Brand and AI Virtual Summit, we will explore the big things that matter to the people running Private Brand today and how they are relevant in our industry, focusing on the most pertinent topics to retailers, manufacturers, and solution partners. Speed to market, customer relevance, product development, analytics, packaging, and photography. Next up in March, we'll have the Velocity Institute Innovation Summit, Innovate 24, the future of private brand manufacturing and product development. It's also a free event, so please go out and register today. We've got some great speakers signed up for that as well. And then our biggest event of the year, the Velocity Conference and Expo, will once again be here in Charlotte, North Carolina at the Sheraton Hotel May 13th through the 15th. Early bird tickets are now available and will close out in March, so make sure you save $200 today. Register now at velocityinstitute.org. Thank you for joining me for Velocity this week. If you'd like to stay up to date with the world of retailer-owned brands, hit that subscribe button. I'm Christopher Durham for Velocity Institute this week. 